Okay, today we're going to tie a, a squala pattern, a stone, stonefly squala pattern, and uh, we're going to tie it on a size six, six curved nymph hook. I prefer these curved nymph hooks because it actually, I think they look better when they, it's a dry fly, but it, when it floats in the water, the back end of this fly actually sets in the water a little bit, and it seems to imitate the, uh, the real thing a little bit better. So we're going to use some olive thread and uh, here we go a squala stonefly similar to uh, a stimulator so I'll get my thread on get back here to the back of the hook and so I've got that I'll snip my thread and <clears throat> first thing is, is we're just gonna put a little tail on it just like on a normal uh, stimulator that we would be tying so we're gonna use a little bit of elk hair generally for the tail you don't you don't use a lot, so that's about all I'm going to use. I'm going to use my hair stacker. And I'll just take the hair stacker. Looks like that came out pretty good. Alright, so right there. I want the elk hair to stick a little bit past the bend in the hook but not super far it's just a tail so first wrap will flare those it's going to flare that elk hair a little bit and then get a number of good another tight wraps after that to keep it from rotating this first couple wraps it tried to but then it stopped so all right that looks good now we don't need this so we're going to snip that elk hair off okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in some uh i'm going to tie in some peacock peacock curl which works really nice for squalas it's got a, it just has a nice flash to it and i i like the color of it as well so i've got four strands here of peacock curl we're going to use I'm going to snip them down here at the base so that they're all the same length and we're going to tie that in right there the back end of the fly where we tie it in the tail along with that because peacock does have a tendency to break relatively easy I'm going to tie in a couple of strands of just some little flash of boo and all that's going to do is really just we're just going to wrap that after the peacock curl and it just kind of helps hold it in place when you're fishing and when you're catching fish because flies tend to get tattered pretty quickly and this peacock will unravel relatively quickly okay so I'm going to put the we'll put that uh, flash of boom in the keeper there so that's out of the way I'm going to take my peacock curl I'm just going to wrap it forward oh one la one thing we forgot I need to go back I realized we forgot to tie in some hackle. So I'm going to tie in a small piece of hackle here. You can notice it's pretty thin, but the body hackle for a stimulator is generally a little bit smaller. It's usually used, it's usually for, the hackle is usually would be used for a smaller fly, but it looks nice when you do it with a stimulator. So tie that in. Now I can begin wrapping my peacock curl forward. There we go. Gives it a nice body to the fly. A little bit of flashiness to it. Nice color. Alright, now that that's tied in, we're going to snip it off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my flash of forward, but instead of wrapping this direction, I'm going to wrap in the opposite direction. I think that just helps hold it in place a little bit better. 
just wrap that forward trying to make the bodies and the segments about the same distance apart all the way up to the front once you get it up to the front then you're just going to tie it off now we can snip it then I'm going to bring this tackle forward and I prefer to wrap it the same direction that I wrapped my peacock so just kind of get a nice crisscrossing in there I think it helps hold everything together when you're done and you have your finished fly really that's the main purpose of that is for durability okay got our hackle wrapped on there now the next step is going to be get some elk hair in for the wings so I'm going to grab this elk hair cut myself a pinch of it a little bit larger than what we used for the tail and I may have gotten myself a little more than I needed there we can thin that out but maybe about that much I like to thin out the fuzzy stuff that's on the on the elk hair that stuff does no good and it hinders it when you try to use the stacker okay so I'm gonna put the elk hair in the hair stacker there we go everything looks to be about the same length Set that on there. I like to have the elk hair stick about the same length as the tail. My first wrap is loose. Once I get it wrapped and all bundled together, then I pull tight. You'll see that elk hair flare. And then I like to do a, a number of other tight wraps working back towards the back of the fly. There we go. And keep that stuff out of the way. And I'm going to gather up the head of that elk hair. And snip it. Clean this up a little bit. Got a couple here. All right. Now the next thing we need to do is put the head of the fly on. So I'm going to tie in this piece of hackle, a little bit different color, a little bit larger hackle. Usually works nicer for the head of the fly. I'm going to tie that in right here, right where the elk hair was tied in. And then we're going to use a little bit of dubbing, and I prefer to use orange dubbing. So we'll use a little bit of this orange dubbing for the head. Just kind of gives that fly that extra flash, um, and I think it makes it stand out a little bit in the water, maybe for the fish. So, plus this hackle we use has a dark. In kind of the inner portion of the hackle has a darkish blackish color and it. it just blends nicely with the orange you'll see as we as we finish the fly here so okay, I've got my dubbing on there remember when you're when you're twisting in your dubbing you always twist in the same direction now I'm going to wrap my dubbing forward get a nice base. Looks like I need to pull some down. There we go. Now I'll take this hackle and we will wrap the hackle forward. Trying to make my wraps evenly spaced as I work forward. You'll notice that nice, like I said, that black inner portion of the hackle just makes a nice contrast with the orange. And now to tie it off, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to pull all of the hackle back so that my wraps don't gather or catch any of that. Once I've got that, then I can snip my thread. And the last step is to 
whip finish this fly. Now as I look, I notice that I've got a few elk hair fibers that wrapped around my, my fly a little bit on the camera side, which is perfectly okay. You can fix that really quickly. Something happened with our thread here. There we go. You can fix this relatively quickly. Just pull that up. Got a couple of elk hairs there that need to be snipped. There we go. And that is a nice little squala stonefly stimulator pattern.